Hello, I'm Dr. Flavia Castellino, and I'm a rheumatologist at MGH and director of the Scleroderma Program at Mass General Hospital. I'll be talking to you today about systemic sclerosis or scleroderma. What is systemic sclerosis? Systemic sclerosis or scleroderma is an autoimmune condition that's characterized by the activation of the inflammatory system as well as the immune system. This results in skin thickening and thickening of other internal organs such as the lungs and sometimes the heart. Shown here in these images is evidence of skin thickening along the hands as well as skin thickening along the lungs on a CAT scan. The disease progression varies from individual to individual. Some have a milder progression while others have a more rapid progression. There are two main types of systemic sclerosis or scleroderma, the limited and the diffuse forms. The limited form of systemic sclerosis involves the forearms, the face, and the lower aspects of the legs. This form is often milder compared to the diffuse form of systemic sclerosis. Diffuse scleroderma can involve the skin of the face, the arms, the trunk, as well as the legs. This form is often more severe compared to limited scleroderma. What causes scleroderma? The exact causes and risk factors for scleroderma are not known. It's predominantly a condition that's seen more in females compared to males. And there's a lot of research being done currently to understand the pathogenesis and understand the disease process. The symptoms of scleroderma vary from individual to individual. Some may have much milder symptoms and others may have more progression and severe symptoms. Raynaud's phenomena is one of the initial manifestations of the disease and is characterized by discoloration of the extremities, including the fingers and the toes. Later on, patients may develop some skin puffiness or skin tightening shown here in this image. Telangiectasias are spidery blood vessels shown here in this image, and this can be present in patients with both limited and diffuse scleroderma. Other symptoms of scleroderma include shortness of breath, cough, or even heartburn. What can you expect at your visit with a rheumatologist? First, your rheumatologist will do a complete history and physical exam. They may ask you questions about your Raynaud's phenomenon, whether you have any hand swelling or puffiness of your skin, any skin tightening. They may ask you about your breathing, as well as any cough or any heartburn symptoms. After the physical exam, you will be asked to do some blood work. This will include a complete blood count, evaluation of your kidney and liver function, as well as different antibody testing. Your rheumatologist may order additional testing, including an EKG, pulmonary function testing or a breathing test to look at your lungs, a CAT scan of your chest to look at images of your chest, and an echocardiogram or an ultrasound of your heart. Once you are diagnosed with scleroderma, you and your rheumatologist will come up with a treatment plan. The treatment plan goals are to reduce inflammation, reduce the immune system response, and to ultimately improve the blood flow in your vessels as well as reduce any scarring or fibrosis and there are specific medications targeted for each of these mechanisms. To learn more about scleroderma, I invite you to look at these additional resources through the MGH Scleroderma Program, the National Scleroderma Foundation, the Scleroderma Research Foundation, as well as the American College of Rheumatology. Thank you very much.